back, yo, we back, we back, yo, we back, we back, we back. We are back. We are back. And in fact, right now, it is your boy, GM Ashley, live from the Fort. That is Fort Lauderdale in Florida. That is Florida. For those of you who don't know where it is hot, it is steaming hot indeed. And that's the way it should be because when you're like right there at the beach chilling, it needs to be hot. So you can just jump in the water and be like, oh, this feels good. This feels good. That's what's up. This feels good. Yo, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being here. And we are talking about the greatest rook sack. Boom. In the game. And thank you so much for showing love for the app, Xclam app, the serious stuff. We keep building on the app every time. We just keep building and building and building. It's a thrill indeed to add more and more stuff. And, uh... We got some stuff showing today, as a matter of fact. You know, we got we got the nasty sacrifice, the rookie six thematic sacrifice. And now we're gonna show another one and another one, Biggie Smalls. Alright. So we're gonna do this. Thank you so much, replay K. And now let us get it on with some popcorn and your man Vishwanathan on on. Here we go. E4, C6, D4. Little Carol Khan. You know, sometimes you just get lucky. But anyway, little Carol Khan action happening right here. And now queen to e2 and an h6. Now he drops back. Take, take. No biggie, no biggie. Let me get my, my chat back because I'm missing some action happening. Thank you, Chris Duffy. All right. Let's do this. Queen e4, queen c7, cackle. And, you know, a little Matutsky action over here. And if you play knight f6, maybe queen h4, just to make sure you can't castle. So what happened? Let me just play a little solid move. Okay. You better play some more solid moves. And now black got bold. Black said, I'm playing g5. Now, when you play a move like g5, it's because you're a confident person. You have to be supremely confident to pull off a move like this. That you say, like, it's no biggie. I can always drop my knight to f6. If you start getting funky on me, push the pawn down. I can keep lines closed. What you got, all right? What do you have? But when you're playing a move like this, you better have seen every little nuance because when you're playing Anand, he will spot all the weaknesses behind a move. And what... Black is very close to being better. I know that sounds strange. Black is like, you just let me get this pawn push for free. I'm going to drop my B up here. I'm going to castle. I'm going to start bum rushing you. This is what's going to happen. White actually has to pay careful attention to this chessboard because black has ideas. But it's Anand. So what did Anand do? This kind of move is pure genius. Anand's like, I'm going to highlight the weakness behind your move. By playing a deep move. Queen h3. Now, you see a move like this. All right? What up, Chess Dojo? Welcome. You came at a really, really, really good time in the proceedings. Because we're going over the greatest rook sack in the game. We're going over that. And you're going to get an example of Anand, Vishwanathan Anand, doing it here. We've already gone over spectacular rook sacrifices. We got two more to go. She came at a good time, right on time. What up, what up? Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate the love indeed. And now, let us get this going. Because now Bolligan thinking that, who's Anand? It's just Anand, big deal. Played this deep move, Rook to G8. Challenging Vishwanathan Anand. Like, yeah, you thought you were threatening to sack on G5 and win a pawn. Take the pawn. I'm not scared. These GMs, I mean, first of all, we just saw the move queen h3, threatening to take on g5, two ways, because that, you know, joker is hanging. And the guy says, I had plans for that. Like, go ahead. I double, triple, dibble, dare you to take this pawn. Uh, and talk to the hand. What? You could play queen h3 retreating move. I can play bishop f8 retreating move. What? What if I attack you? Nobody told you to come to this party. Get out of here. 
What if I do this? And uh, whoops, whoops. Come take this beat down. <laughs> How did Black do all the like the backwards retreating moves? And turns out Black's the one attacking. Rook to G8. You see a guy plays. You play Queen H3. And the guy plays Rook G8, and you're like, wow. And all of a sudden, making Queen H3 look bad. G4 is coming. You're like, wait, what? How is this happening? I thought I was, and then it was, and then all of a sudden it was, you're the one getting hurt. But guess who you're playing? It's Anand. So what did Anand do here? You're threatening G4. I can't take on H6. You're threatening G4, and I can't take on H6 because you got tactics. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to play Rook E1. Now, can we just turn the universe upside down for a second so we can understand what's going on? I can't take on H6, and you're threatening G4. But now I want you to play G4. Let's, uh, let's try to appreciate this. I want you to play G4 so that I can take on H6. But weren't you going to play G4? And I couldn't take on H6. But now all of a sudden I can H6. Well, of course we can take on H6. Why? Because we gain a tempo with rookie one. The point is, if you take this knight now, boom, a rook sack's going to land on the board. <laughs> what? Here comes the rook sack. It's always a rook sack. It's always rookie six. Rookie six. That's what we've learned. Just sack the rook. Give us that. Give us. Now, this is hanging. Don't try to defend it with your king because that's coming. It's painful what's happening right now. Bishop back. Yeah, okay. Give us the rook. You thought you were doing something. You're doing nothing. Now your king is fully exposed and it's all white. Rook to e1. Your king is still in the middle. G4 doesn't work. So what did black do? Black dropped the bishop back to f8. That was going to be the counter move to the first queen takes. And now black is back. I'm going to play g4. That's what I'm going to do next. This, for us on the stream, for those of us on the stream been watching, you know the right way to play right now is like automatic. Bing. Like just, uh, just do it. Just do it, Anand. Just do it. Anand played queen f5. Hey, wait, 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 wait. We knew it was coming. We knew rook e6 was coming. Didn't we knew it was coming? We like... Anand, rook e6. Like, why didn't you play rook e6? Obviously, if they take the rook, check. Give us the rook. We collected all day. Anand had to do a little bit of calculation here. <laughs> a little calculation because king d8 is playable. Leaving the rook, threatening the move g4 again. But hold on a second. Can't we do something like rook to e4? Well, no, you can't because knight f6. Hitting your rook. Hitting your queen. Whoa, I thought we were attacking. How is, this, how is it he's attacking? What? But here's the deal. This is what Anand didn't calculate properly in this position because that move is possible. We took one pawn on e6. Now we're taking the pawn on h6. Why? Because now, if you play bishop takes, well, we just take. We got two pawns and the exchange, and we're threatening bishop g5. Hello, your king sucks. This bishop sucks. This rook sucks. It's all white all day. This is just crush. Pain coming your way. By the way, we just want to note that if you play f6, boom, more sacrifices. <laughs> like ring, 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 ringing your bell. Come get some Boom! Feel the pain. What? What? You you can't run. I mean, he's gonna run into a fist. <laughs> you still can't run. Because <laughs> you come, you gotta give back stuff. And once you give back stuff, you're down four pawns. Get out of here. Wow! <laughs> wow! That's just painful. Rook take rook e six and rook takes h six was possible. Knight e5. Not going to do nothing. <laughs> Yo, what kind of chess game? Knight f3 check. 
Major base six now. Check. Okay, let's block with the queen. Let's take a pawn while we're at it. We're going to hit your rook and keep an eye on this bishop. By the way, bishop f1, defense if you try to mate us. Too good. Too good. The engines are too good. All right? They're too good. They're pointing out all these spectacular lines that you'd have to see. Anand didn't see that line, so he decided to play queen f5. You know, when a genius doesn't see a rook sack, he just puts his queen on prees. Like, what? <laughs> what? Huh? This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. People, like, what kind of queen h3, rookie one, giving you g4, queen f5? Like, is this chess in this universe? Like, what is this? Bishop to g7. Okay. H4. Let's strip your king side. Uh, yeah, my queen is pinned and whatever, but I can always drop a little queen here if you're not careful. Just be mindful. That could happen at any moment. And my queen is ready to move anyway, so no biggie. Your pieces are now starting to get squeezed. King F8. Getting out the way. Whoop! Drop him back. Thank you very much for putting your bishop on G7. We're back to action again. How did he sneak the pawn in front of his queen? This is why these guys are so good. That's what that's what's up. This is why these guys are so good. Rook H8. <laughs> the, these rook, the rook and queen dancing back and forth. Takes, takes, queen back. Johnny's feeling it. <laughs> Johnny's feeling it. Hello. By the way, Black has got that little Matutsky idea in mind. But the knight's in the way. So Black said, you know what? I'm going to sack the pawn. I'm playing c5. Here we go. I'm going to put pressure here, put my b-hop here, and hit this knight, and I'm going to look at trying to attack you. The key word is trying, because Anand said, so, do what you got to do. Takes. You can keep that pawn. Nobody wants it. Let me bring my last piece into the game. Whenever you're attacking, just keep building, build and build and build and build. Every piece active now. Rooks on the line. Bishops slicing and dicing. Knight getting ready to come into squares. Queen just sitting there like the lordest, gangsterest piece in the universe. I don't know what to say now. Look at those people. Look at them. All kinds of pain. Rook D1. Great move. Now, black should be sweating Knight c5 is the best move, but your pieces look terrible. Bishop f4 is coming. Looks awful. But what did black do? Naively played bishop to b7. Put the bishop, I'm putting the bishop on the long diagonal towards the king, and I'm preparing potentially to take and maybe get a little checky action and see what happens. You know what Anand felt about this move? You know, you know what Anand felt about this? And your threat, bishop takes f3, threat. Boom! Open you up right now. <laughs> Boom! And I was like, go right ahead. Do what you got to do. I'm sacking a rook. Rook E6 is back ferociously. Right? I oh, know, I know. Rook E6 is a bad move. And I'm not going to keep my. Thank you, Tino. Rook E6. Woof. That's just nasty. I mean, it was just, just like, come get some. <laughs> so, if you play bishop f3 now, queen takes. Which check do you have? What are you talking about? What, what is this? What are you, what are you, you ain't got no light squares? Come on, stop it. That's a joke. You were hoping and praying and wishing. That's not going to do anything. 
And the rook just blew up your king side. Just total blow up. Thanks you, Yipper. Just like, boom! Boom! So black is like, okay, um, maybe I can survive this. Like, what you got? What are you doing? What, what, what's the deal? You just sacked the rook. Well, I just sacked the rook because guess what? I didn't do it. I know I did it. Vishy was like, boom, I'm sacking a bishop too. <laughs> I'm all in. All in, baby. Let's go. All in, all in. Don't think you're not taking it because a queen's coming to g6 if you try to duck and dodge. All in. Takes. Give us that check. Hitting your rook, so don't back up. King d6. What's the deal? Is it like a little queen d4 action? Or what's going on? A bishop might go to d5. What, what's the deal? No, 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 no. And I said, this is how deep I am. This is why I was five-time world champion, says Anna, not me. <laughs> Never even come close. Anna said, listen, this is how we understand chess. We're just going to take back with the knight and chill. I'm sacking my rook. I'm sacking my bishop. Okay, I get the bishop back. Your king slushed out. And I'm just taking. And I'm down a rook for two pawns. But look at your king. Now, here's the deal. You can't just sack a rook and say to the guy, look at your king. That, that's not how chess works. That's not how chess works. You can't, oh, oh, I know you're a world-class GM and I just sacked my rook on you and uh, just look at your king. No, that's not how chess works. From this position, you've got to calculate and make sure that black is not escaping. Black's not going anywhere. You understand? That's what Anand had to do right now. So, first and foremost, this check is going to hurt badly. Badly. Now, if you try to stop it mechanically, mechanically, then white, it's not even fair, is going to play boom and clear out that line so that this knight can find the square it really wants to go to. You feel me? Like, what? No, what? It's not even fair. I'm just saying. It's just it's just not fair. That's just how that's just how it works. Chess is brutal. Your king is about to get schooled. So you cannot slowly stop what's about to happen. Now, what happens if you play there's some plenty of variations here to show. What happens if you drop your queen back to get out of the way? Give your king a little chance to run. Oh, that's so cute. You're going to run with your king. That's so nice. That's really cute, isn't that cute? That's cute, little Mo, right? It's cute, right? right? It's not cute? No, it's not cute. Little Mo don't like it. You know why? Because there's plenty of ways to school you in this position. Uh, one way, one of my favorite. Boom! Come get some more. Come to, what? <laughs> the guy's not stopping. Not stopping. Nope, can't, can't stop, won't stop. Won't let your king run. Hello, hitting your queen. And after king takes on e6, look at the, just 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 the, and the, and the crisscross. Just all the nasties and the, na and the woman and the women and the, it's just, mm. <laughs> play. Just look at the king of the room. Uh, excuse us. Mm, mm, uh, let's take more food. Do you really think this piece is going to survive the day? I mean, this is nasty. Somebody asked, what about bishop to c6 in this position? Well, don't forget that there's a... Which, which way do you want me to, to, to hurt the feelings? Which way? Do you want me to do it that way and then pick that off? Do you want me to do it that way and expose your king to maximum pain? Because my queen's coming back and mating. Which way? You choose. You pick your death. This is one of those situations when back in Jamaica when they said, listen, you're going to get a beating. So what you're going to do is pick the belt or the switch, all right, or the paddle. Pick, pick how you're going to catch this beating, all right? This, this is, a, this, I'm sorry. That's how, the, that's how, spare the rod and spoil the child is what, you know, I'm, thank goodness. Whoop, got out of there. But <laughs> that's how they used to do. Pick what you, which beating, how do you want the beat down? Which way you want this beating, all right? I'm just, pick one. 
You pick. <laughs> you pick after that. All right. It's going to hurt no matter how you try it. This is probably the most efficient beat down, given that you can't play this move because that's Matutski. So that means you got to throw in this position a B hop in the way. Like, why are we even looking at this? Watch your, like, the king's running for his life. Running. <clears throat> running. Running where? <laughs> running where? Running where? Running. Running. Running where? Run. You're still running? Oh, my goodness. Okay, you can stop now. You can stop. Thank you, Nicholas. So, those moves don't work. Knight takes d4. Anand has already understood. It's not only that he's threatening knight to b5, it's that the knight's going to leave and the b hop is going to also go out the way. That's not right. That's just not right. So, queen c5. Okay. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. If it worked. Now, in this position, what's shocking is Anand had a very deep response. And he found something that's even more deep, if not as good. So, again, which, how do you want to die? That's the question. Anand has already seen how to kill black, so he didn't look for another way. In this position, the most devastating move is knight to b5 check. And you have to see this variation. The point is, if king to c6, okay, it's your only move other than giving away your queen. Now the vicious bishop to e2. Notice I use the word vicious. <laughs> it's like, how is that vicious? How can that, like, why would you classify this move as vicious? Well, the reason why we classify it as vicious is this threat is coming. But what's nasty is this move is going to come as well, but only, check this, only after you play, let me get a move in here. Well, I need to make a, a, a random-ish move. This is random, but it, but there's, there's too, it's too easy to win after B4 for me to play the move I want to play. So let me show you what I'm talking about with another move. Instead, there is the possibility you know which move am i looking for hold up maybe it is this line bishop b2 rook d8 no it's not that line hmm sorry guys i just want to get to this variation oh it's rookie one it's the rookie one variation all right now if rook a8 now the move a4 that's what you call an evil move <laughs> evil because you just guarded the knight with the point of playing bishop e4, give me your queen. <laughs> like, nasty. By the way, there's also the possibility of bringing the rook up, and your king, white is down a rook, but that king is so horrible, that white is crushing. How is that king trapped? <laughs> like, it's amazing. The knight's like, yeah, I'm chilling. You ain't going nowhere. I got you covered. I got you covered, son. Nothing. It's ridiculous. Nasty position. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that was possible. But I know I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm a super genius. I can do it my own way. <laughs> let's, clear, let's clear out the pieces out of the way so that the big dog can show up. Let's go. The rook is like, yeah, 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 I'm waiting. I'm ready to drop the bomb. And by the way, don't try to run. Don't, try, don't you're not running anywhere. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself, all right? You're not going anywhere. Bishop F5. <laughs> what if we take the bishop? I'm just putting it on the board so we can see it. Okay? Don't get crazy. Like Maurice, don't show that line, please. It's too painful. Why would you show this? Why would you show this? The guy is just gonna get feelings hurt. Why would you show this? By the way. Rook takes, queen takes is possible. Rook takes is nasty also. Don't touch. It's Matutski, all right? And it's just bad. Is that knight d4 is going to be something nasty? Is everything going to be bad? Like, stop it. So unfair. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Just so unfair when the, when the guy's playing like a genius and beating you in your face. Bishop f5. This is all coming from rookie six, folks. 
All right. So don't think rookie six just because you just because I've told you about it that it's automatic. It's not like oh I'm just gonna look at the moves that White is playing. Like oh I'm just gonna play rookie six. It's all gonna play itself. Yeah. Okay. Keep thinking that way. So trying to trade queens really. That was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, I got to give you my queen back. I already got a rook. Let me get the queen back. Not yet. Now we'll take it. Let's keep the attack going. Check. Let's keep it going. Let's just drop back. We have two extra pawns. Queen and two extra pawns for your rook. And your king sucks. You're not surviving this position. This now becomes a technical task. And Vichy did the do. The rest of it is not as interesting for us. As uh, Vichy shows how crushing he is as a player. By the way, Black decided that he had enough. Most of us would probably make a couple more moves, but didn't want to see a move like Bishop to B5 happen and just felt like Knight F4 is also coming. Two extra pawns on the board. Why play on? It's Vishwanathan Anand. It's over. Just like, all right, man, I, I got to go eat some food. I got to go. Bye. It's over. Did you see this? Did, by the way, it's not every day you play a rook sack like this and just understand that the king is in trouble forever, right? This is a different kind of rookie six. That's why we say it's the greatest rook sack ever. I want to go back to the moment, folks, when he did play rookie six, this position right here. Rookie six, bishop e7 takes, and the while you were busy calculating all the variations, Vichy was busy playing knight takes d4. I mean, this is real. This is real. Unbelievable. All right. This was sweet. This was sweet. But as sweet as this rucksack is, let's go back to the moment when the rucksack happened. We want to make sure the rucksack is on the board. Matter of fact, let's do a full review. When did the rucksack happen here? Let's go back to the critical moment. Oh, yeah. Murray's average played it right here. All right. There we go. Let's get the rook. Oh, we have that position on the board. Rook e6. These are all diagrams for you guys. Oh, there we go. We already have that one. We have that one. Ooh, look at all these beautiful. Let's line them up. Line them up. Rook e6 in this one. All right, we got that. Notice the weak g-pawn. All right. Rook e6 on this one. Ooh, just dropped it. Notice the weak g-pawn again. Dramatic. Doesn't matter. Pain. Another rook e6 action. This time it's not about the weak g-pawn. It's about the bishop on the diagonal. All right? We're doing the instruction. We're doing the review. This is called quality teaching, folks. Make sure you review so the students get it. Another rook e6 sacrifice. You see that? Keep that in mind. Ooh, another moment. Bing, bing, bing. Hit him, pin him and win him. Hello. Pain. All right? And finally, the last one we've seen so far is Vichy's rook sack viciously here. Sipping on a henny and learning some chess. That's what's up. Knight b5 was better geeky, but what Vichy did was vicious too. Vicious Vichy. You know, the, some people's names are just perfect. The lesson you've learned is always play rookie six. You got the right lesson. You got the right idea. Always sack on e6. Hink! Now, if you haven't learned it yet, we're going to do the last one. And this one is the one that started it all. When I saw this, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I got to share with the stream the greatest rook sack around. This is the one. This is the one that started the whole problem. The whole thing caused me to be on like a spiral and have to prepare all these positions for you guys because of this one. Are you ready? Let's go. This one, by the way, these two players are 2100s. This is not GMs. All right. Master level players. Feed A2100. So master level players. All right? Check this out. Because this is going to get so good. I mean, I'm just going to blow through the opening. I'm not interested until the guy played this move. Old school line, bishop h4. Typically, you should play either bishop f4 or bishop e3. That's the rouser in this position after h6. Okay? That's the line. That's how you play. By the way, this move, this is not possible because a knight c6 takes and takes and you're pinned. Hello, feel stupid. But anyway, bishop f4 is also a move here. Uh, black plays bishop d7 typically. The line goes on. 
Or Bishop E3 is the other line. Another movie you could play. Bishop H4 is basically falling for a trap. And black walks into the trap, because black's supposed to be theoretically fine here. And queen F4. Now you got to be careful. Every step now has got to be careful, because your knight's hanging. And your queen's hanging. So both of them are hanging. you got to be careful. So knight to g5. We're still in the mix. Knight c6, bc6. And now queen to a4. Black's chilling like a villain. The threat is f4. You might have thought it was queen c6. The threat is actually f4. But black has different moves here to play. Queen c7 is a move. Queen b6 is a move. Black played queen b6. The game continues. Still a game. Black is on. Bishop g3. Hitting the pawn is a move. The threat is actually h4. There's like these sneaky threats that keep coming in the position, trying to chase your knight back so that I can get out of the game, but also hitting the pawn. But the black should be fine here after rook b8. The game continues. After queen a4, queen b6, white played bishop to d3. Black played rook b8, thinking that 